What's up guys? It's your girl <laughs> Says I, I wish I could say that but no, it's your girl Zelina Christos and she's here today to show you guys how Why am I talking about myself in third person? I mean, I am here today to show you guys how I created this SZA inspired Halloween look um, I had asked my followers on Instagram to let me know which Halloween costume they wanted me to recreate and this was one of them so this is the SZA inspired look from the Love Galore music video. Um, if you're super interested in knowing how I did this, make sure to continue watching to see how this all panned out. Oh, and don't forget, before you leave, before you start watching, make sure to subscribe down below. All right, so first thing first, I'm gonna be using Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow, and I'm gonna be trying my very best to try to get as big of it an arch as possible for my eyebrows just because Sizz's eyebrows are a lot more arched than mine so in the process it's probably going to end up looking hella bushy but that's okay because concealer is going to be able to fix that up so to shape up these brows I'm going to be using the Urban Decay All Nighter um, concealer in the color medium dark warm um, this color is a lot lighter than my actual complexion, but that's just because I want to make sure that these eyebrows are super concealed in that um, no hair is actually showing. So in the process, I'm not just concealing my eyebrows, but I'm actually shaping them up and trying to make them look a lot more arched so that they look a lot closer to Sizz's eyebrows and not just my regular eyebrows. For foundation, I'm going to be using the NARS Luminous Foundation in the color Caddies. This color is going to appear a lot lighter on camera, however, it is my winter color, so yikes on that. But, you know, it does have full coverage and that's especially what you'd probably be looking for during the Halloween time when you're wearing your makeup all day. Keep me laughing at how light my face looks. <laughs> my foundation looks super light right now but that's okay because we're gonna go in with the Fenty matchstick in the color truffle and contour the, the hell out of my face. I'm just going to go in with my brush and start blending. Now that that's done, now my face looks a little bit more warmed up, I'm going to go in with the other matchstick in the color Caramel and use this as my concealer. So when I'm doing my concealer, I wanna make sure that I'm dragging it all the way down just so I can copy the whole sizzle look that she has. I usually notice that the concealer does drag a lot more farther down than my usual looks in her looks that I've seen on Instagram. So now that I'm done with my foundation, contour, and concealer, I'm gonna go in with my Morphe eyeshadow palette, and it's the three, the 35 OS. So I'm just gonna be using a nice warm brown um, for my crease, nothing too crazy, and then use this light color for my tear duct. I'm going to go in with this color. Eyeshadow's done. Now we're going to go in with the Epic Liner by NYX and do a really simple wing just because I don't think she had a drastic one in the music video.
Now that I finished my eyeliner and my eyeshadow, I'm gonna go in with my other concealer. It's the All Nighter, the one that I use for my eyebrows, and I'm going to go under my eyes again. I'm gonna go in with my black opal baking powder and set under my eyes. As I let that bake, <laughs> I'm going to be using two mascaras just because I know one of them is going to bring me that length and the other one's just going to give me that volume. So we're going to go in with the first one and that's the Max Zoom Lash. Super tiny wand, but it works wonders. Now I'm gonna go in with the Essence Big Lashes Mascara. So this stuff is probably like three to four dollars and guys, like I love it. I've been using it since high school and I have no problem. Now to sweep off the baking powder, I'm going to be using my MAC Skin Finish Mineralizing Powder and it's in the color Dark. I'm going to use my Sephora Contour Blush Palette and I'm going to be using the contour color and then also using this highlighter. So I'm going to go in with this. I just want to like hug the cheekbones a bit more because she has really like high cheekbones. to give me that effect. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go in with the highlighter and just do a super light over here, over here as well. I'm gonna give myself a little bit of a butt and nose look like she has. And then go in and put this under my eyebrows so that it gives the effect that my eyebrows are a little bit more arched than they are. So I just realized that I forgot to put my freckles on. Okay, so she used to do a freckle look a long time back, but it, she doesn't do it as much as she used to. However, just because I want to stick to the SZA vibe and SZA inspiration of the costume, I'm going to add some of the freckles she used to do over here, like, you know, around the nose, and then also add the signature one on the lip. So I'm not gonna do too many. And then this one, okay, over here. So the third important part of this makeup look is the lips. I've already added the most important part and that was the beauty mark on the lip. And now the next one is the lip color. So she usually rocks dark nudes. And so I think this one really went with the, with the vibe. So I don't know if I said this earlier, but 
This color is from NYX. It is the lingerie color in 05. Done! So I'm done with the makeup and now the most important part, which is the hair. If I didn't do my hair, then you would not know that this is a makeup look for a Sissa costume. So let's get straight into that. This honestly was pretty DIY just because I didn't have enough time to go ahead and buy some new hair. So I'm gonna be using my old braiding yakky hair and what I pretty much did was add a hair tie to the middle of the hair strands and then attach them to buns. So first thing I'm gonna be doing is putting my hair into two buns over here and leaving bangs in the front as well. Okay, so I switched into a black tank top before I started the hair just because I thought this top went the closest with what she had in the music video. I also didn't want to have to put the top on with the hair done because that literally would take forever. So we're going to start the bun process now. I'm just going to take out my hair, part it like the Red Sea. So that's one bun joke, so that's, that's just the practice bun. To gel my hair, I'm going to be using the Eco Styler Gel and this is Maxwell 10. Moving the same amount of hair on both sides. I'm just gonna now bobby pin this hair to this side. Okay. We have our buns, we have our bangs. And now we're gonna move on to adding the hair. Um, I'm gonna be using some of my old braiding hair and that is what we have right here. And what I've done is put a elastic band right in the middle of the hair and tie it up, but enough for there to be space for it to go over something. So what I'm gonna be doing is putting this around my bun and then securing it so that it doesn't look like that's pretty much what I did. So just like this, I'm gonna be putting it around my bun. And instead of it looking like this, I'm going to, you know, put the hair on top. And just adjust it so that it doesn't look like there's a bun under it. This one also has a hair tie in the middle and has enough space for it to go around my bun. So there we go. We have our two ponytails. Before I straighten my bangs, I'm going to be adding the butterflies. So this was super DIY. Um, I went into Michael's and found this set of butterflies and I think these are supposed to be attached to like, I don't know, like home decor or something. But yeah, so I, I have a bunch of them and they have like little wires underneath some of them. This one, the wire had fallen out, so I've been using a bobby pin for this one. And pretty much what I've been doing with this is just, you know, hanging up, <laughs> hanging them up like Christmas ornaments in my hair and just like twisting it in and hiding any wire so that you don't see it. So I'm gonna start off with this butterfly. And, you know, put it in my hair like so. And just so that it's secure, I'm going to bend it. So that's one butterfly down. I'm gonna add another colored one, this one. I'm gonna add it to another part of my hair. You can find any of these butterflies in your local Michaels and it'll most likely be in the section with fake flowers and stuff like that. That's where I found these butterflies. I'm gonna add some more to this side. Okay, 
Okay, now that that's done, I'm going to straighten these bangs. guys so this is the look this is the SZA love galore music video inspired Halloween look I know I'm super late for this video I probably should have came out with it before Halloween but I didn't because I didn't think it was gonna be that big of like a thing however I did enjoy doing it it was super fun super easy. I don't know about you guys but I'm getting love galore vibes all over this so let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed and thank you so much for watching this video if you haven't already done so subscribe now so you guys can stay tuned for more videos that i will be posting in the future so yeah